In its 10th edition, the Istanbul International Literature Festival is in full swing, with this year's theme being We Follow Literature. More than 70 internationally renowned authors from 22 countries will share the stage, including Sophie Oxenen, B. Johnson and Marente de Moore. The fair includes hundreds of concerts, book readings and trade shows taking place on both sides of the Bosphorus. And joining me now is the co-founder of the festival, literary agent Nermin Mola Olu. Nermin, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me and sparing some time for literature. Of course. <laughs> and now this year is very special. It's the 10th an anniversary of the show, I think. Can you tell us how did it all start? When I started, there was no international literature festival in the country. And we were invited to some other festivals in different countries. And we got the idea that why not, you know, we, we should have a literature festival here. And it started very, you know, with the volunteer uh, ideas. And it's been great. <laughs> And what are some of the highlights that people can be looking forward to for this year's programme? Well, uh, ITEF is the um, space for international literature together with the Turkish um, literature. Um, so if you, if you like to know about uh, who, is the, who is the leading Finnish literature, Sophie Oksanan is at our festival. Or you, if you haven't met any Maltese writer, it's uh, there at the program. So if you like to know, um, you know, the bestseller writers and not very well-known writers to discover, it's at the program. Uh, we, of course, we have some um, some program for the translators, for the um, secondary school uh, students, uh, university programs. So more than 100 events uh, in 10 days. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> and one of the very special initiatives you have is the fellowship programme, which I think started in 2011. Why do you think that's so special and unique for this festival? Well, uh, Istanbul is so famous, you know, for all the people. I mean, they all want to come to Istanbul and especially for the professionals. Uh, they want to learn about the Turkish literature and also to sell their rights, you know, to sell their books. Uh, to be translated in Turkish, uh, but they don't know how to do it. I mean, for scammers, it's a huge jungle here. So we hold their hands and show that this is this, this is that. Uh, so it's a um, quite welcoming uh, program for different, different um, you know, uh, professionals. Uh, we invite uh, festival organizers, for example, we had Bristol Literature Festival uh, director, Andrew was here. Um, so I'm sure that every year, or every other year, they will invite one Turkish writer uh, to Bristol. And we had um, uh, Catalan Literature uh, Foundation's director, Missia. So she will, she will be more easy, feel more easy to sell Catalan literature into Turkish. Uh, you know, these are maybe some people that, some people think that it's not important, but I really care about Catalan literature as much as German literature. <laughs> And what about the authors? Which specific authors from which countries do you have? Can you show us some of these books? Sure, of course. I mean, amazing covers. I like them. And it's, uh, all these covers are done by the original uh, illustrators. For example, this is Danish story. So a Danish illustrator uh, designed this cover uh, for us. And again, this is the Maltese writer, Pierre Melak, mm -hmm. and the Maltese uh, designer. We loved it. And it's so matching with the, the, um, the sense of the stories inside. And this is Marianne Moore, uh, translates so internationally. I mean, she is like the you know, huge rising star of the Dutch literature. And uh, before I um, er arrived here, I got an email from her thanking how, how she is grateful for attending the festival. Um, well, um, this is great, Mar you know, to read all these new voices from the world. And they become good friends with Turkish writers, which is so special. Because, uh, you know, writers feel alone 
you know, writing their texts and these kind of festivals, international festivals, um, create an opportunity to meet the other voices from different countries. And uh, maybe one day they will meet another festival in Jaipur, India or um, um, Bogota also, or New York. So they will say that, oh, we met in Istanbul, we met uh, at ITEF. This is a big honor for us, for, for Turkey. And on that point, I wanted to find out how important is this festival, both in Turkey and internationally? Well, um, that's the thing. I mean, this is the um, um, Kervan Sarai. I mean, it's like the um, people are traveling from east to west. Um, now, it's, it sounds cliche, but it's true. I mean, we are the, you know, the, um, the, the spot where everything meets and travel from one way to other way. So people meet here and they uh, they know each other and they try to understand at least get the idea because um, when you you can talk about uh, horrible things without knowing the people but when you know it when you sense you know uh, what what behind the stories so it's more um, you know special so it's the um, networking hub here and um, it will go on you know for a long time to promoting Turkish literature, basically, and Turkey, Istanbul, and all Turkish publishing um, sector. Namin, thank you so much for that great insight into the festival. Thank you very much.